So here's yet another video. Okay, so I just I just heard that I don't know if this is true or not that Canada is going to consider anything that's in opposition to tra the trans agenda to be transphobic. So if you're a feminist and you don't um <clears throat> if you don't like that everything that the feminist movement has has done to bring women in a state of equality, right? So if you disagree, apparently, you would be considered transphobic when that is not the case. It's about fighting for women's rights. And I don't know if this person right here is transgender because the voice is altered in this, so I don't know for sure if this person is an actual biological woman or if this person is a trans woman. But the thing is, is that um, there are only two genders, right? There is male and female. When they talk about a spectrum, the spectrum is a personality type. It is not an actual physical biological creation or it is not something that is that is naturally occurring when it comes to an actual gender, okay? So you only have two. And those are the facts. You can be somebody that considers yourself whatever definition you want to apply to yourself and that you feel suits you, fits you, almost like a name. So your parents give you a name, you don't like your name, you change your name, boom, bam, boom, right? So that's what I consider as being the spectrum. You have a spectrum of what you consider your personality type will be, okay? So nine times out of 10, a lot of these people speaking out, calling themselves non-binary, um, that they are, you know, that they don't align with being one gender over another gender. Okay, fine. Um, no problem. But you are whatever gender you came into this world with, unless you're hermaphrodite. And that is also a physical occurrence. Um, and that is a very small percentage of the population that is hermaphrodite. Um, you are one or t one of the one of the other one or the other. That's just the facts. Okay. <clears throat> um, your personality type is like a name. You change your name, but how will you feel in ten years? Are you going to say um, I'm no longer trans? I'm no longer binary. I am something else. Right. That is the evolution of thought process that has absolutely nothing. Nothing to do with science, but let me continue. There's no such thing as biological men. That's not a real thing. That is a transphobic dog whistle. What it's doing is it's trying to justify transphobia using science. But if we were talking about males, sex is also a spectrum. So to acknowledge biology Hold on, in that way. He makes a good point too. There is no there's no spectrum when it comes to gender. You're either male or female. And even transgender women, I'm hearing on social media. Um, because I'm not hearing much about the transgender man, the, 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 the woman, the female to male spe uh, um, ideology. I don't really hear much from them as, as much as I do the, the male to female and the male to female say, if there was no gender, there would be no reason for trans in the first place. And I'm hearing this from actual transgendered women, women or females women male to female like they're saying well if there's no spectrum if the, i mean if there's no gender why would i go from male to being female what's the point like why would i go through all of this stuff that i'm going through hormone surgery and everything to to be uh or looking like a female what would be the point of doing that so th this is this is this is the thing I want to say to feminists. Feminists need to understand, and I know there there's a very inclu inclusive um, spectrum, or I don't even want to use the word spectrum because that's what they use. There's a, there's there's a an inclusive facet of the feminist movement that don't fully understand that the whole point of being a feminist is for women's rights. 
And if they're going to say that there's no longer a, a woman, like the definition of a woman doesn't obtain or doesn't hold up as what it, it, it is supposed to be, which is a, is a biological female human being <clears throat> with ovaries, a uterus, and all the spectrum, nah, there we go with the spectrum, all the facets of being a woman, I got spectrum on my brain, um, all the facets of being a woman, which is hormones and everything, that create a woman, and then beyond that, so if you're a feminist and you, and you think that it's okay for males to dominate, that is very male identified to think that it's okay for somebody who's six foot four with the dick and balls to compete about to compete against women in an actual women's uh, division sports category. And you think that's okay? Where is that okay? Where is that okay to you? You basically are smacking women's rights in the face. You're smacking women in the face when it comes to sports and getting to the point where women can actually compete in sports because there was a time they couldn't ever compete in sports and there's two categories to compete in sports. And if you really want to be about um, uplifting uh, transgender people, then why don't you ask uh, these sports uh, creators that create all these different forums to create an actual Olympics for transgender people? A whole nother category if you're really about that life. But taking away what women have fought for in women division sports is a smack in the face if you're a feminist and you're not upholding what it is because I don't see any transgender female to male in male sports categories. Nobody's talking about that. You don't see a male to a female to male put up in social uh uh, paradigms like Mulvaney. You don't see them getting a Bud Light can, commemorative can in their image. You'll never see that. You will never see that. So where is it okay for people who claim quote unquote they're transgender who have never transgendered, have never have never had surgery have not gone through the process of, of complete transition, never want to, don't even want to take female hormones in a woman's category sports and dominate. If you're a feminist, how is that okay? And I don't see you as a feminist if you're supporting that, supporting the female to male transition. And making sure they're put up, right? But gender is not a spectrum. It is absolutely not a spectrum. There's you only know, two the genders. Is a factor in sex is transphobic. Well, let me tell you why this perspective is nonsense. So this is Valentina Portrillo, born Fabrizio Pratillo. Valentina just won their eighth gold in indoor track, as you can see here. So it looks like that spectrum that the trans community keeps talking about actually isn't a spectrum. If you have the body structure of a man, you are inherently going to have an advantage over biological women. And this is why I was so excited this week when I announced that World Athletics is going to be banning transgender athletes from world ranking competitions. Because at the end of the day, like the CEO says, Sebastian Coe, it is about fairness for women. Sorry, call me a transphobe. I don't care. There's no such thing as biological men. So that person is part of the LGBTQ community, okay? And and he says, you know, I am a gay man, okay? 
So this is a, a man speaking on part of the LGBTQ community about his beliefs, okay? So this is my thing. If you really want to be inclusive for transgender women or men, and it has to be both, then create a whole nother category in sports for transgender people. If that's how inclusive that you want to be in sports, instead of smacking women in the face and, and trying to tear down everything women and the feminist movement have done for women to advance women in society, to, be, to not have to be abused in a home and not seen, not heard, not thought about and being treated as a possession, an actual individual human being, and now you have a community that wants to completely take that away from women. To me, that's not okay. And speaking out on it, as I'm doing, does not make you transphobic. It doesn't make you phobic of anything because the mere fact that you're speaking out means you have no fear in speaking out. There's no phobia about it. It's either right or wrong and taking things away from women that women have fought for, for over a hundred plus years is not okay.